What's going on everybody? It's Brian for jailbreakzone.com and today I'll be showing you some pretty cool software mods for older click wheel iPods. Here is a white one gigabyte first generation iPod Nano. I bought this on eBay for about 10 bucks. It's not in the greatest condition but the battery works fine and so does everything else so pretty good deal. So basically the, the proper term isn't really considered jailbreaking it's just more of considered general iPod hacking but We'll just call it hacking for now. But basically, I'm going to be showing you some pretty cool software mods. And first, I'm going to be starting with the iPod OS, and then I'll reboot it, show you my custom bootloader that I have, and then I'll go ahead and get into Rockbox. I've been doing iPod click wheel hacks for about several years now, so this isn't anything new to me. It's just been a while. So I bought an iPod Nano so I could give it a go again. But anyway, here is my custom theme that I have installed onto the iPod Nano. I used iPod Wizard to get this installed. Uh, you can see that it has the leopard background back there. And I have a custom menu. So here we have music, photos, extras, settings, random sh uh, shuffle songs, and then now playing. Here is your usual menu system. You can see that the wallpaper stays all the way through. Here is the new now playing screen. It's really nice layout. It looks really nice. The album art is, you know, right there in the center. Um, you can see that the battery meter and your play pause icons are a little bit different as well. You can see that the now playing button is now activated. So I, I really like it. it. Slows things down just a little bit, but this thing only has 32 megs of RAM, I believe. So. Overall, it's a really cool tweak. It looks really nice, it makes it unique, makes it fresh and new instead of that old basic menu system and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset the iPod by holding the menu in the center button. And once it comes back on, here we are at the custom iPod loader that I have installed. It basically lets you switch between multiple operating systems. You could also have it quickly go into disk mode. You could reboot the device or you could just power it off completely. Um, iPod OS obviously goes into the OS that I just showed you. This is a flash based iPod so the iPod OS loads fairly quickly like so. So I'm going to go ahead and reset it one more time. Wait for the loader to come back up. So you pretty much you're pretty much able to triple boot a classic iPod. Um, you could boot into the iPod OS, Rockbox, or iPod Linux. iPodLinux.org has pretty much been down for the past two to three years, so I don't know why. I don't know what's up with their website. I mean, it was a really good resource. They had lots of good downloads and tutorials and files. So I don't have iPod Linux installed, but you know, if if you're really into your hacking, you could install multiple copies of the iPod OS with different themes installed, and you could switch between them here. So I'm going to go into the I'm going to go into Rockbox so I could show you what that's like. Basically, it's an open source operating system for portable media players and it's also available for a standalone Android application, which is also pretty interesting, but it's been around for several years. It's really cool. It's been it's progressed quite a bit since it's since it started. It basically, lets you play videos on devices that couldn't previously play play videos. Um, I was going to put one on here, but I just completely forgot about it. But, you know, videos do play fine on here. You have to render it out to like 174 by 100 or something like that because of the iPod Nano's display resolution. But there are a bunch of cool plugins and games and little demos and stuff with this. So if I go to plugins and then games, you know, we have a whole bunch of games such as Blackjack. And we also have Brickmania, which is like Ricochet. This one's been around for a long time. Um, quit without saving. We also have Bubbles. Oops, Chess, obviously. So Bubbles, it's pretty much, I forgot what the clone or what the original game was called but that's what bubbles is really nice frame rate locked on to 60 frames a second it looks like on a small screen like this so that's nice 
and I actually don't know how to get out of this game, so I pretty much have to reset the iPod. Um, but that, it's Rockbox, it has a lot of cool applications that you could run. Um, everything's open source, of course, so if you like to look at the source code, you could go ahead and do that over at rockbox.org. I'm going to go back into plugins and show you Doom. This is capable of, of playing various Doom WAD files. So I have a copy of Free Doom already on here, as you can see. Audio works just fine. I don't have it. I don't have the iPod plugged into a speaker, but audio does work fine. So you can see that I am playing Doom on this old, tiny iPod Nano. But overall, the frame rate is just fine, and the game's fairly playable. So I'm going to flip the hold switch to bring the menu back up. Go to quit. And there's just a whole bunch of different little games it comes with. If we go into applications, we have actual applications such as the alarm clock, calculator. You could use your iPod as a little flashlight. You could use a scroll wheel to adjust the brightness. Uh, you could get the MD5 sum for files. There's a metronome app. You could, there's this little paint application where you could just doodle, even though it's sort of hard to do. Stopwatch app, text editor, which, you know, it's pretty basic, but it does work and it's, you know, it's there. Demos, it just has various graphical demos. Let me go to cube. You could change the various rotation options. that's pretty cool um, here we have fire just pretty much fills your screen with fire and here we have fireworks which is my personal favorite because it looks pretty cool I'm gonna have it auto fire every 50 milliseconds I'm gonna give it a whole bunch of particles yes then I'm gonna turn the frame rate up to 60 and it's pretty much just this little fireworks demo and I'm going to go to quit and see what else we got. We have Plasma, which one, which is pretty cool. You could change the colors. And I think you could change the speed. Oh, you can make everything smaller or bigger. So I want to find the... There we go, Matrix. This one's pretty cool. You can pause it if you'd like. You can make it faster or you can make it slower. And I can't figure out how to exit this one. Some of the, most of the apps you exit it by doing menu and the center button, and then it goes back to the initial main menu before it goes to quit. But some of them, there's just no real way to exit out of it. So pretty much just have to restart the iPod. But that was just a quick look at some of the cool little mods that you could put onto old iPods. If, if you just happen to have one lying around, it's a pretty nice little project. I'm actually doing a write-up for jailbreakzone.com about it. I, I'll put all of the files that I used for this, for my exact setup, onto jailbreakzone.com. So check that within a couple of days, and I should have everything finished. But, you know, like I said, if you had an, have an old iPod laying around, like a iPod 4th generation or iPod video or iPod photo or one of the iPod Nanos, or even if you have a newer iPod Classic, you can still get Rockbox onto it. But the iPod Classic's a little bit iffy right now because you can only use one OS. If you want to go back to the iPod OS instead of Rockbox, you'll have to restore it to factory settings. But, you know, really nice stuff. So, thanks a lot for watching this video. You could leave any comments, questions, or suggestions down below. So, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.